let's look at the lesson. Count groups of 10 to 20, 30, 120. It says, count the tigers. Well, I know when things are in groups of 10, I can count by tens. Let's make sure this is a group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good, so now I know I can count each row by tens. So let's begin. I know here there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Good, and I'll write that as numbers. I know there was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Great. I'm going to show you a trick, too. Here I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of 10. And that is 60. So I see six tens and zero ones. All right, so 60 is our final answer. All right, let's count the whistles, but let's first be sure that there are 10 in the top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Brilliant. All right, let's count by tens. I know in this row I have 10, then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's 80. Great, let's see how many groups of 10 that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, 8 and a 0 because there are 8 tens. 80, I see it here. Now let's count the trains. Let's make sure there are 10 in the top row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Brilliant. Let's count by tens now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90. Great. I draw these little dashes by each group of 10 so that I don't lose track. Let's see, how many tens was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine groups of 10 is 90. There's my answer. Next, we have treasure chests. Let's count the treasure chests. Let's make sure there's 10 in the top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. Now knowing all the rows below it are the same, I know there's 10 in every row, so I can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Nine and a zero. Let's see how many tens that was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine groups of 10, which was 90. All right, do you see the answer 90 down below? Me too, it's right here. All right, let's count the dolls. Let's make sure there are 10 in the top row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Brilliant. How many rows are there? There are 1, one 2, 3 rows. My guess is that it's going to be 30 because there are three tens. So let's see. ten. 20, 30. Yes, 30 is the answer, and I see it right here. All right, it wants us to count the bananas. Let's make sure there are 10 in the top row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great, now I know we can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100. Wonderful. Do you see that number down in our answers? Yes, right here. That is a big number. All right, next they want us to count the clovers. 
Let's count and make sure there are 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Brilliant. Now, let's see how many groups of 10 there are. Let's count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 again. We write 100 as 1, 0, 0. Ooh, and I spotted it down here as well. All right, let's count the trains. Let's make sure there are 10 in our top row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I see 10. All right, now I know we can count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I see 60. Great. Counting by 10s makes this a lot easier than counting by 1s for all of them. Okay, let's count the dice. Let's see if we can count by 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, there's 10 in each row. So let's count by 10s. 10, 20. Great, there are one, two tens. So two tens is 20. Here's the 20. All right, next let's count the clovers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 in the top row, so I know I can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. And 7 tens is 70. Here's my 7 in the tens place. All right, here's 70. You did fantastic today.